Okay guys, I'm getting ready to start a contest that's by uh, Blu-ray Anonymous. Uh, this is probably one of the coolest contests I've ever seen someone do. Uh, I don't participate in a lot of the contests that require video responses and stuff like that. But uh, this one I feel like was very innovative. Uh, there probably won't be a lot of people entering it, but uh, he, had, he had a decent reward too for uh, if your name is chosen. But uh, he wanted you to... Uh, choose a tier of movies. He had three different tiers and each tier had three movies and you just had to watch the movies and film your response and everything and the movies were available on uh, Netflix. I don't have a Netflix account but uh, my wife knows somebody who does so I was using their Netflix account to do it. We already had their information saved on our TV so it didn't really matter. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be using their Netflix account to watch them and he wanted, he wanted us to tell a couple other things with it too, like which one's our favorite, which one we didn't like the most, and talk a little bit about the movies. But the one thing is you had to watch them all in one sitting. And I thought, being that this is a movie community, it was a really innovative uh, contest and stuff. It's not just saying what your favorite of this is or saying what your... Like some of the other contests, like just answering a few questions, this is one where you really you have to watch the movies, which I, I don't know. I just I really like that idea. Uh, <clears throat> I'll show you guys the movies here and what time it is. Uh, I'm expecting this will probably take about four hours to watch all of them. Uh, two of them were an hour and a half each, and then one was like 55 minutes. <clears throat> All right. It's currently 9:42. So let me show you guys this here. We're 9:43 right now, and we're loading up by uh, Netflix here. <clears throat> It's the smart TV app. It's like built into the TV, but sometimes it can take a little bit to load. It can be slower. Uh, I'm trying to remember what the titles were. One was Zombie Lake. There we go. I added them to the list up top here. Let me zoom in. There go. The first title was Zombie Lake. Then there's Slugs. And there's the last title. It's The Devil's Carnival. Uh, this, this one's a 2012. Uh, the Slugs was 1987. And Zombie Lake was 1981. And I've heard of Zombie Lake. The other ones I haven't really heard of. Uh, but definitely, they, they had decent reviews on here. I mean, de decent star ratings. Uh, the first one he wanted us to watch was Zombie Lake. So I'm going to go ahead and start it here. And it's 10.44 now. And I'll get back to you guys, let you know how it goes, and let you know how I liked it, and when I start the next one, what time it is, and everything. Ooh. Sorry, I was still zoomed in. Uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. And definitely, if you haven't entered his contest yet, definitely go and enter it. It's worthwhile. He's given a really good prize, too. And uh, I think it's a really fun thing to do for the community. All right, so I just finished with Zombie Lake. Uh, literally just finished. Uh, I, I liked it pretty good. Uh, one thing I didn't like about it, it wasn't in English. The whole thing... Uh, it was in a different language, but they had the words at the bottom you can read. Uh, another good thing about that is there really wasn't a whole lot of talking in it. A lot of the scenes were kind of silent. Uh, for the time this movie was made, uh, 81, uh, you can tell their budget must have not have been very good at all. Uh, I've seen other zombie movies in the early 80s uh, where the zombies looked much better. Uh, these zombies were just like green paint on them. Uh, there, there were the effects and everything where the zombies were eating people were really bad too. It's just like 
they smeared blood on the person or whatever, or red, whatever, liquid on them to make them look like it was blood. Uh, I like it better, like in the original Friday the 13th movie, whenever they show the death scenes, how the person dies, but they don't actually really show them dying as much. It kind of just fades away or is showing a different part and you hear the person scream or something. Uh, I kind of like that better if they don't have the budget. Uh, this movie was enjoyable, though. Uh, I, I liked it. I've seen some of it before. I didn't know that. I guess I've seen it on TV at some point or something. I don't know where I saw it, but uh, there's a few parts in here I've seen before. But uh, overall, it was a good movie. Uh, there's a lot of things that happened in this movie that just did not make sense to me. Uh one thing, if anybody does watch it, the scene that happens at the very beginning, that's actually from the middle of the movie, and I didn't realize that. Uh, the beginning of the movie, uh, the first, I'd say, first half, is kind of boring. Uh, there's a 20-minute period where there's, like, no zombies or anything at all, and that was, it was boring. But then at the halfway point, uh, some things happen, and it really picks up, and the zombies start coming out a lot more and stuff, and that's... That's where the movie excelled, in my opinion. Uh, you weren't watching subtitles as much and everything. But uh, let's not waste time. Let's get to the next movie here. Uh, can't remember which one was supposed to be next. Uh, let's see. I guess next one on my list in the order that goes would be Slugs. So I'll go here. I'll go ahead and start it up. I guess it's from 1987, and I'm pretty sure I've never seen this one either. I don't think I've saw it. But yeah, I'll get back to you guys as soon as this is over with, and I. Uh, as soon as I finish watching this one, give you my opinions and stuff, and I uh, will we'll let you know how this one goes. I just realized that uh, I didn't show the time in that video, so uh, you see the movie right now for Slugs is opening up. Uh, the time right now is 12.17, uh, just to show that I am watching them back to back. Also, uh, I'm watching them in a different order. Uh, I just loaded up his uh, YouTube contest on my phone, and I saw it was supposed to be Zombie Lake, The Devil's Carnival, and Slugs. Uh, I, I didn't see him say anything. He had to watch them in a certain order, so I hope it doesn't matter. Uh, I've already started this one, and this one actually is already looking a little bit better. Uh, as far as the money they spent on it than Zombie Lake did. But uh, I'll keep you guys posted. Okay, so good thing about this slug so far. This one is in English. Uh, and it's actually, seeing the cars and stuff in this one is pretty nostalgic from my childhood because I was born in the early 80s. So uh, seeing all the vehicles and stuff in this one, like the police car and everything looking new on the videos and stuff, it just reminds me of whenever I was a kid, which is pretty cool. Uh, now the slugs and stuff, so far they haven't shown much of that, but uh, I guess I'll let you guys know whenever I get to the end of the movie or the next time I decide to do an update during it. Alright, I just finished up with slugs. Uh, as you can see here, the credits and everything are still rolling on the TV. And it is 141. This movie, I, I really liked it. I like the uh, 80s movies like this that are, I don't know, it's a little bit over the top. Like, a lot of the stuff that happened in this movie didn't make sense. Let me turn down the volume a little bit on here. Oh. 
there we go. Yeah, a lot of things happen. This movie didn't necessarily make sense, but uh, there were a lot of 80s horror movies that are like that, where they didn't think about everything and how it played out, which is which is fine. Uh, I still enjoyed the movie. Uh, I, I like this one just as much as the last one, if not more. Uh, the next movie is probably the one I was least looking forward to. Uh, but it's only 55 minutes long. It's not that long. Uh, so I guess I'll go ahead and get it started. And then I kind of talk about all three of the movies and which ones I like the best. Here, let's see if we can... Okay, this is the Devil's Carnival. It's the last one that we were to watch in this tier. It is 55 minutes long. And it is currently 143. Alright guys, and as soon as this one's done, uh, I'll finish up this video and I'll let you know what I thought of them, which one I like the best, and uh, how they were. Okay, just finished watching uh, The Devil's Carnival. I'll go ahead and show you guys. We got the end playing here, and it's currently 2.34. So it's about four hours long worth of watching movies. Right. Stop it. Okay, so uh, The Devil's Carnival is my least favorite out of the three I watched. Uh, it really didn't have any story about the characters or what's going on. Uh, at the end, you kind of you learn a tiny bit more, but not enough to really uh, matter or make the film any better for me. Uh, and it didn't help. It was a musical. Uh, I don't like musicals very much at all. Uh, I'm like, some dark musicals are okay. Uh, like, what was the one? Cannibal the Musical from the creators of South Park. I remember watching it and it had a few funny points in it. But uh, this one, overall, it was definitely my least favorite. You didn't, like, you didn't learn about the characters at all. Like, you didn't really know why they're at the carnival or anything like this and really learn about their past that much. Uh, you just, at the beginning, you see them all getting captured and taken to the carnival or whatever. Uh, I did, it did have a few characters, like, I, uh, there was one character in this one who, I believe it's the police officer from, uh, Sons of Anarchy. Well, he was the police officer in the early seasons that had, uh, cancer. Uh, he's one that, I'm pretty sure he plays the guy in the movie, he has so much makeup and, like, a different nose and chin and stuff. It was kind of hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure that was him, the way he moved and talked and kind of how he looked and stuff, I think that was him. Uh, it was okay, I, I wouldn't watch it again. It's probably something my wife would like more than me since it was a musical. But out of the three movies, uh, I, I'd have to say Slugs was my favorite one. Uh, followed closely behind by Zombie Lake. I liked I liked Zombie Lake pretty good. The, more, the longer I give it, the more I kind of liked it. And I... Uh, the more I like the end with all the zombies coming out and stuff, and I realize it's an older movie before zombie movies were really that popular and out like they are now. Uh, so I'd say Slugs is probably my favorite, followed very closely behind Zombie Lake, and then The Devil's Carnival I just didn't care for myself. Uh, but that's my rating of the movies. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, 
definitely check out Blu-ray Anonymous. I'll put a link to his channel down below. Uh, if you have time, it took me four hours to watch these movies. Uh, they were three movies I'd never really seen before. So if you have time, you have Netflix, just record yourself doing it. You had to do them back to back in order to be in his uh, contest, but it's worth the time. Thanks for watching, guys.